we need to grow in our spiritual life we need to grow from the level of a believer to a level of a disciple there's a verse in the bible in the book of acts 11th chapter 26th verse it says and when he had found him he brought him to antioch for a whole year they met with the church and taught a great many people and in antioch the disciples were first called christians here he says when he found him he brought him to antioch for a whole year they met with the church and taught a great many people this is very important part of being a disciple we need to teach others to grow and we need to grow in our spiritual life as well who are these christians you can find them being called as christians in this portion of the bible it says and in antioch the disciples were first called christians who were called christians the disciples were first called christians they grew in their spiritual life they started walking like christ they replicated christ in their life they were able to showcase the love of christ to others they were able to teach others and help them to grow in their spiritual life today it is very important for us to grow as well as help others to grow in their spiritual life we need to teach the word of god and help people to grow in the spiritual life that is what the disciples they did in their life they, this is what the, that is what the disciples did in their ministry of life they stayed and taught the people to, and help them to grow in the spiritual life today i would encourage you there are so many people around you who know christ but they have not grown in the spiritual life it is your duty to teach them from the word of god and help them to grow so that they can be a disciple and teach many others let us make a decision to teach others and help them grow let, let us not be self centered by thinking only i should grow but let us also help others grow let us teach them the word of god and help them to understand christ